Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In my previous videos I already show you how to describe phylogenetic tree like this using short hand notation. And today I'm going to show you again and also I'm going to show you new format where we also can describe the length of the branches and not only relationship between species but also as you see here the lens stand for the amount of change for example it can be dna sequence or change in rna sequence or change in protein sequence so as you see for yourself this type of phylogenetic tree is much more informative so let's start with reviewing what you have learned from my previous lessons how we are going to shorthand notate this phylogenetic tree so we start with species A and we separate from species B with comma and we include these two species in parentheses and as you see we gave a description of this part of the phylogenetic tree. Now we also add comma which stands for this root and next we add species C and enclose them in double parentheses so we gave a description of this whole phylogenetic tree. This is a format that computers understand and you also may include such a shorthand notation in your scientific paper. Now let's give a description of this phylogenetic tree in New York format. I'm going to use the same colors as given to each branch here. So we start with species A, so A, but this time we add column and we put number which is for example it's going to be one here, one here, two here and three here. So we add one which specifies the length of this branch then we separate species A and B with comma, B stands for the species B, colon and one and we include them in parentheses just like in this example but now we gave a length of each branch here which leads to each species so we gave a description of this part of this phylogenetic tree. If in previous example in order to separate two mine branches we use a comma here now we also have to describe the length of this branch which leads from common ancestor here to common ancestor of the species A and B. So we add colon and we put two which specifies the length of this branch leading to this common ancestor. Now we also add species C colon and three which specifies the length which leads from this common ancestor to species C. So we gave a description of this part and also we enclose everything in parentheses. That means that we gave a description of this whole phylogenetic tree including length of the branches. Now I hope you have much better understanding how NUIC format works. By the way NUIC stands for the uh, probably some of you would wonder for the name of the restaurant where a group of scientists met twice in order to develop this method of description of phylogenetic trees. We also call this phylogenetic trees additive. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.